Michael. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another episode of Herping Lebanon. Today we're gonna herp for Adafi Sauromates and some other cool colubrids around here. It's uh, an area 1,600 meters above sea level. Uh, these snakes were seen here and spotted here. So, guys, we flipped the very first rock and we already found three dice snakes under the same rock. These are juveniles. As you can see, dice snakes are the only semi-aquatic species in Lebanon. Uh, they feed on frogs and fish, they're tadpoles. Uh, they defend themselves by uh, playing dead or uh, secreting bad odor, like these guys did right now. I, my hand stinks after holding them. It's epic, uh, probably the first time I find three snakes under one rock. Over near the water. And that's guys how they play dead, look. It's not moving, almost it hides the head and it puts its tongue out. That's a dead snake for you, but it's not really dead. It hopes I leave it alone, it will just turn around and move. Now we will let the snakes go. It's also the only snake that can dive underwater. Yani. The rest of the snakes can swim, but this one sticks underwater to hide from predators. And here that goes the third one. Alright, let's search for more. And there guys, we got the dice snake swimming towards the shore again. It's a beautiful baby dice snake. I think it's one of the ones we released. It's not very active yet. They're much faster swimmers right now. But the wind is being an obstacle probably. Here you can see there are plenty of rodent holes that are probably shelter for snakes and other creatures around here like lizards and all that. So every sign indicates the availability of the snakes and the good possibility of them being around. Maybe they will be out when it's a bit warmer during the day later but I'll keep looking anyway. You can flip some juveniles maybe or find an adult roaming around soon. And there guys you can see a dice snake peeking at me. There is a lot on this pond. We spotted like five already so far. But it's hard to get them on camera, they dive instantly. But the good thing is they resurface in like 10-15 minutes after diving. So this one is still watching me near the shore, it's also a young one. And this is the only snake species that's able to dive underwater and spend time underwater unlike the other species that can swim but they remain on the surface. And we didn't find any Elaphisauromates but we found another dive snake. This pond is full of them. This one is bigger than the ones we found before. And it has a beautiful orange belly. I managed to catch it out of the water. It was here in the algae. And I'll take a few still shots of this baby and let it go exactly where we found it. And here we found our first lemon yellow tree frog for the day. The rest were only uh, pond frogs. This is the tree frog, the one and only so far. It's very calm and it's just sitting there while I was taking pictures of the dye snake. I will let go of the dice snake. Go ahead. Yeah. 
Here she goes. So guys, sadly we need to leave very early now. We just received news that uh, there is a pro there are protests in Beirut and the roads are closing. So we had to leave before finding the FSR mates. We just spent a few hours on the field, but we're definitely coming back next week. And I really need to find the snake in the wild and photograph it. And hopefully it will be a nice picture for the snake, the snakes of Lebanon book I'm working on. I'm still missing the LFE Sour Mates picture. I only received ones from other people, but I don't have my personal pictures in that, uh, in that book. So, yeah. See you next week and hope you enjoy.